Welcome to Anthony's Cross Thread Garage. Good morning. Wasn't that long ago that we just finished up the back of the dump truck. Done some tree cutting and everything else. But today, I'm not getting back on the Studebaker yet. We're going to just dis disclose and disclose. It's not allowed to tell you, place where my Rambler is, and we're going to go ahead and work on it today. Got the tranny rebuilt for my local guy here in town. Uh, got some exhaust pipe here. I'm going to try to get that tranny thrown up in it and uh, put the exhaust on and actually take it for a real, it's real drive. We've had its first drive, but something longer than a mile or two. All right, back on the Rambler. Like I said earlier, transmission rebuilt. Got some new U joints for the drive shaft. So at least maybe I'll have one classic car running this year. So let's raise it up and just get right into it. I would like to show you how I got it in here, but that'd be against company policy. There's my big AMC three speed something. I don't know. That's rebuilt. Uh, the guy who rebuilt it actually brought me down, showed me why it was tore apart. The uh, clutches were welded together or rusted, seized, whatever together. Uh, the pump on this is actually in the back side of the transmission. So if you pull the car fast enough, it would jump start, which is kind of neat. There's no cooler lines on it. That's why the bell housing has these cracks in the back. It's air cooled. Which I don't know how it holds up to all that horsepower that Power Commander 199 cubic inches. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and start jacking up in there. Forgot about the fuel issue. So excited to drive this and everything else. I'm like, I still have a fuel tank. So that being said, we might go ahead and get the I might go ahead and get the uh, fuel cell done today. So it's done. So I can drive it. Yeah. I need to quit worrying about the fuel tank. The fuel tank's on my mind this car since I've had it up so many times. Get my main bolts in. Oh, time pedal six. Torque converter bolts in. Well, it's one of my bolts. It's a different size, which I thought was odd. I pull all transmissions, but I never had a worry about a bolt. Well, we got Permatex on this job. 
do red there. So there's one that's just literally bigger. And on the other one. Everything I've ever worked on. When you're doing these torque converter bolts, you want to put them in all loose. Because my first couple of Subaru transmissions I ever did in my life. A couple of uh, Zuzus. Radios the, and the troopers. If you didn't put them in there loosely, if you get you might get two or three tight, you ain't gonna get the rest of them lined up. Tell you that right now. Put them all in loose. Take your time. Crank it around and around. them all put in and then come back around and tighten them up. Alright, get transmission back in. Just for the record, I'm an idiot. That was going the right way, so I spent like three hours on doing something I absolutely did not have to do, so that's good. Alright, get my trans the valve body on my transmission. So it's all bolted up now. You gotta put the drive shaft in. As remember, if you watch my other video, I get this thing back here. With no ears or nothing on it. Uh, I'm gonna do my exhaust too while I got it here. But right now, we gotta get these U joints out so I can press the new ones in. So oh, let's get this thing pressed out. Now I gotta work on the other side. Yeah. I'll press them get like it will be fine. Well, I'll get the wrong U joints. I need these itty bitty things right here and no one's got them. That and me putting the uh taking the valve body up for no reason. Also put me behind today. Uh been here for six hours, I'm done for now. We'll get these parts and we'll get back after it here another day. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is next week. I get the U joints for the Rambler. We'll go ahead and head in here early. The wipes sleep I'm on still and try to get the fuel cell and the transmission done here this morning. Uh, as you can see, construction started on the new garage. So now this is going to be taking up a lot of my time. Okay, cut down trees, cutting, digging out the bank, putting the, the dump truck to use. Tailgate's holding up, so I'm busting. Yeah, I got to dig all that. Well, it looks like I got to remove some monster trucks. <laughs> but, yeah. Don't go. Make the drive in here to work and start on this, start back on the uh, Rambler and hopefully get it done today. At least drive it out of there. I'm ready to drive this car. Alright, we're back in. Trying to get this stolen star mounted up. Should have done it last week and I was too tired. Got the starter mounted in. On the top side, that is. So now we gotta raise it up. We'll get this fuel tank out of there. Get the drive shaft back in. We'll tighten up the lower starter bolt. And work on the exhaust. 
All right, before we get started on the exhaust, let's go ahead and put these big U-joints in for all that horsepower. And here they are. Look at the size of it. These were a pain in the butt to get, so I gotta be very careful with them. I don't have to lose needles, like I always do. Then right here on the bench can be easy. The hard part is the way this stupid thing's designed underneath. There we go. And no straps. One time you strap that. Installed. Good luck putting this freaking clip. I don't know if I can start that in there. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, this is part of the project. We get every tool you got trying to get, get something to fit work. Ooh! Ooh! Son! And right, now before we start it, the drive shaft in. You tackle this exhaust. Just going to side pipe it. Be something simple, but you know, something simple is never simple. Of course, we got to tack everything. Here comes the bubble gum train. So we're just making this real simple here. Just so it isn't a ah! open exhaust. Oh yeah, she's looking good, ain't she? So yeah, we're just coming off here. Woo, glass pack, a little bit of muffler. And outside, like a race car. This big in line six. So I'm gonna go ahead and gob this up. Then when I bring it back, we'll get this thing out and start drilling holes and get ready to start mounting stuff up. Woo! Got this beautiful high dollar custom exhaust on there. Now, I'm gonna drop the fuel tank. And then I gotta go. I'll have to do the fuel cell at the house, I guess. That's all right. I got everything I need at the house. And it won't be hard to put it in from up above, but you gotta get this thing out. Let's get this thing dropped out. Fill the transmission fluid full and see if we can drive it home. Finally. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Thanks, Shane. 
game. I don't know, I might still try to restore it. I don't know, take it somewhere. All right, so we're off four quarts here. We'll fire up and let it run. And this particular vehicle, you guys, <laughs> gotta check this transmission fluid and drive. I'm not sure it's because the pump's at the rear of the transmission. Well, I gave her another little drinky poo of uh, EPF. Can't get going for it. We're about ready to drive on the main road. Time for first real drive down the main road. That's if the transmission works. I uh, just got the fuel filled up underneath and I got a five pound fire extinguisher. Get her. All right, I'm back. Walked up and ready to go. working on the Rambler today. And Dad also got this dump truck. I mean, excavator. The insides. Or even, Dad has been digging up that much of a dirt. I know, it's very disgusting. We couldn't do it today because it's raining today, but we're gonna try to do as much as we can on the Rambler today. We got this cool dump, Exavator. Ex I'm gonna see you later, Exavator. And let's, let's check on, let's check on old Rambi today. The original fuel tank is leaking. We can't get a replacement, so now we gotta put this fuel cell in here. Uh, transmissions are get put in in this video. So we'll get this put in so we can actually drive it. Drive it. Uh huh. Back to Anthony. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get the uh, tank in today. That'd be today that way we can actually drive the, the car. Well, I don't know if we're digging dirt. It's all mud right now. We would be digging dirt for the the new garage, but I mean she is wet. I don't know, I may try to get these bigger rocks out of here later today. Anyhow, but the old uh, 
Look, the truck's Look, that good. big rock over there. I know, it is a big rock. In the back of it. Yesterday oh, I put two rock. electric fans in it because it was running at L, 15 miles an hour, climbing the mountain. Uh, there's nothing really. I was going to put a new clutch fan in. The clutch fan I was able to find is not the right one. Uh, the clutch is bad in the fan, so electric fans will do. Huh? Why? Alright, this other fuel tank will sit in here. I got these to mount with. They came with a, a fuel tank for a transfer tank at work. We don't put them in with those. Got my holes marked. Good drill. Muffler heat shield over on this side. All right, a little aggressive there. Oh, it's pouring rain. I don't have a union I can find for my go from this to the other female in. I'm still, I guess, since I'm standing out inside here, might as well go ahead and put this together. You're supposed to have special tools and everything else, but not me. I'm gonna put my end on like that. Use an appropriate hammer. Give her a little lube. All right, I'm gonna use my approved special clamp here. However, I do have proper wrench. There. Installed. Won't pull apart. Good to go. But <sighs> well stop ran. Cleaned up some of my garage as you can see you can kind of see the table now and cleaned all this. Could not find a fitting anywhere. Got this one, but it's piped right on the other side. Don't work. Went and got this one. I don't know what it is. It doesn't work. And then I was thinking, well, pretty sure I ordered everything I needed for this fuel cell. I know it didn't come with that adapter. Well, <laughs> went inside, and there it was on the counter. So anyway, at least I got the garage cleaned up some, and I get the part now. See what I get going on here. We got this tank down here, but I gotta screw up my link on my hose. I'm just gonna drop a single hose down through that hole right there, and these are my four mounts, which I should be fine. I mean, these are designed to hold a bigger fuel tank than that thing. So I'm gonna fish this down through and see what the length is and cut it. I took them to my main fuel line. About that much. I'm going to 
tape where I'm gonna cut it because you need that for when you cut it anyhow. Cut it like that because it makes a slant. We don't need a slant. So let's try to straighten this piece up here. <laughs> don't run any pressure on this so I'm not terrified of it straight through the floor and I'm done. We'll fill her up. All right, this thing's got a leveling sensor in it. I'm not sure how this works. Surely it doesn't put power in there. But in case it does, I don't want to blow up here. We're going to see if we can't get this to work with this fuel cell. That way I have a fuel gauge, which would be pretty nice. Levels all the way up. Get this wired. Wired. Test wired. Go ahead. See if our fuel gauge works. <laughs> oh wow, it does work. Sweet. I think that's going to work exactly like it should. That's good. Not to worry about running out of gas, hopefully. Now let's take this five dollar fuel cell out. Got these high dollar brackets. What are you doing? Took out the the my original gas tank and I got a real gas tank we're gonna try to hook up and see if we can get started. Yeah, we just let that pour air by itself. How about that? Alright. Well she topped off. I don't see if she'll run. Alright, well she pulled fuel. That's it for this episode of Cross Trail. Beautiful day out. Maybe I can start getting some rocks in here. Go ahead and grab the kids and uh, I think we're going to get some ice cream, get some more gas for this thing. See ya. Channel.
the river Life is older, older than the tree Younger than the mountain Blowing like a breeze Count the road Take me home To the place Yeah, water running out of the trunk now Goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>